Targi is a board game made out of cards. There are three types. The border cards are laid out the same way every game and then the centre spaces are filled up with tribe cards and goods cards. In Targi you're trying to collect tribe cards. They have these silver crosses on them which represent points. You're also trying to collect sets of the tribe cards. There are five different symbols. You will be placing these cards in front of you uh, to form three rows of four tribe cards. If you make a row which has tribe cards with the same symbol, you will score four points. And a row containing four different symbols, that scores two points. As well as that, some of the tribe cards uh, give points based off the text written on the card. However, tribe cards cost goods and gold. So you're going to need to collect salt, pepper, dates and gold using the goods cards. Each round you're going to get to use three border cards and two of the centre spaces. Players take it in turns placing a Targi figure on a border card and when you have placed three each, players place their tribe markers at the corresponding intersections based on where they placed their Targi. If you placed one of your Targi opposite another of your own, then there will only be one intersection and you would only get to place one tribe marker and that would mean you'd only get to use four cards this round instead of five. The rules are that you cannot place your Targi on a space that's already taken and you cannot place it opposite one of your opponent's figures. Also, you cannot place on the corner cards and you can't put your Targi on the space which has the robber. So if you're going second, you will have just two or three border cards to choose from when you place your third Targi. So if you want a particular border space, you're going to have to go there early in the round. Players place their Targi and tribe markers first and then you will resolve all five of your cards in whatever order you like. Then I will resolve my five cards and that's the end of the round. When you resolve a goods card, you immediately replace it with a tribe card and vice versa. You place these face down and then flip them face up at the start of the next round. If your tribe marker is on a goods card, then you take the pictured resource. Uh, you can't hoard resources in Targi. At the end of a round, if you have more than 10 goods or three gold, then you must discard some resources. If your tribe marker is on a tribe card, then you can immediately put that card directly into one of your rows or you can put the card into your hand but only if you don't already have a tribe card in your hand. To play a tribe card from your hand into a row you have to place your Targi on the noble border card. After you pay the cost tribe cards must be placed at the end of one of the rows. If a player gets three full rows of four tribe cards, then that is going to end the game. Or the robber figure, they move one space around the border every round. And if they complete a lap, that ends the game. A lot of the tribe cards cost gold. And there are only a few goods cards that give you gold. So you are likely going to have to go to the trader space to convert goods to gold at some point. Uh, you can do that multiple times when you go there. Uh, the caravan space lets you have a lucky dip off the top of the goods deck. And the tribal expansion does the same thing, uh, giving you a tribe card at random. Um, the silversmith lets you trade goods once per turn uh, to get victory points and the Fata Morgana space lets you move your tribe marker after you've placed your Targi. The border cards that are in the corners are raid cards. The robber actually doesn't stop on these spaces. Whenever he reaches one he will just pass over it. So there's actually a maximum of 12 rounds in a game of Targi. But when the robber passes over a raid in the corner, then players have to either give in some resources or lose some victory points and they get to choose. 
Some of the text on the tribe cards give you goods and discounts instead of points, which are nice to get uh, early in the game. But when you read this text, you need to keep in mind that gold is not a uh, good, even though it does appear on some of the goods cards. And the border cards, they are not goods cards, even though some of them give you goods. That is your unfussy rules overview for Targi. Uh, thank you to all of the subscribers for the channel and thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do consider becoming a subscriber and I will see you in the next video.